Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, and if you have seen my previous video, you would know that I am <laughs> buying my first house. I have bought the first house. I don't know when you're watching this, whether I will be in yet or not, <laughs> but it's all a little bit exciting. So I wanted to kick off the moving vlogs with a haul. I've been picking bits up as I go. Nothing like crazy massive. The biggest thing that I've bought is a headboard from Facebook Marketplace that cost me like 20 quid. Um, the rest of the things are are smaller essentials some of them aren't essentials but we'll get into that but yeah I just thought I'd include them now I thought I'd only got a little bit but actually there's quite a lot here so I thought I'd just dive in I'm really hoping as well because of the timing of this video that this will help out anyone that's moving to unis as well there's a lot of kind of just basic cutlery chopping boards just stuff like that um, that I've managed to pick up for really really decent prices so if you are moving to uni or if you're moving into a new flat this is very much a period of change for a lot of people no matter where you are in life it seems to be like over summer going into the new kind of academic year there seems to be a lot of changes for people so if you are moving hope you enjoy um, and if you're just interested in homeware and moving vlogs like I have been for so many years then welcome as well I'll also leave my Instagram over here it is predominantly like fashion and lifestyle content but naturally with moving house and all those kind of things I'm sure there will be more homeware content but let's just dive in I am gonna start off with kitchenware so just to get these out of the way I got some kitchen towels what are they called tea towels <laughs> thanks oh my god where did my brain go um some of these are from B&M some of them from I want to say like the range or home bargains super super cheap all of my plates like my dinnerware and all that kind of stuff is from Tesco it's from Fox and Ivy and I am obsessed so these are the bowls um I do have prices they were like £3.50 or £4.50 each which is quite expensive but I wanted to kind of splash out on this kind of stuff because it's the stuff that you use literally every day um and you're gonna look at it every day and it's beautiful so they're these kind of like speckled white beige cream bowls which is really really nice and because of the nature of them they're all a little bit different which is really nice i like that there's that kind of natural rustic effect if that makes sense and then from that same range i got the pasta bowls i got four of these these are just what I use all the time, so I'm going to be using these predominantly as my plates. But then also got these plates, which were the smaller in the range. They do have bigger ones as well. But I don't know, I don't feel like I need bigger plates than this, really. But who knows, if I feel like I need them, I will get them, but I highly doubt it. But yeah, they are very beautiful. I like them a lot. Onto some more affordable choices now. I have B&M bits. These were from B&M. These were £12 and it is a 16 piece cutlery set. They're just really nice, super simple. I like sleek, kind of skinny, skinny cutlery, I don't know. I then also got my coffee, tea and sugar that was a bit close for comfort, sorry about that. Um, like the canisters from a charity shop. Me and Paul, my boyfriend, were having a little peruse as I normally do, I love a charity shop. And these were untouched, unused, still in the box and they were £3.50. They do have tea, coffee, sugar on them there. I tend to have them like the other way around because I just, I don't know, I don't vibe with the whole labelling thing, it's just not really me. But I think they're really, really simple. Ah, it all makes sense with like how the decor looks. I will be doing videos like that full on Pinterest mood boards all that kind of stuff for you to see but they are those. Then on to glasses. I got these ones from Matalan. These were £8 for a pack of four which I thought was pretty good. They're kind of bog standard. They're just this kind of glass. I don't know. Are they called a highball? No it's a tumbler. I don't know but they look like that. They've got a little kind of taper in on the edge I feel like they're gonna match the wine glasses that I want from Ikea they're the ones that go like that as well so fingers crossed they'll kind of go together and then for something a little bit more snazzy I got these from George at Asda and they're meant to be like crystal cut glass well, I don't know they're these <laughs> I just thought they'd be really nice with alcoholic beverages not that I drink alcohol overly much but even just for something cute it looked really nice and my boyfriend does make a, a beautiful virgin mojito so that'll be really really sweet in there and these were £1.50 each £1.50 they look so much more expensive than that so if you want something like this hit up Asda because 
very good very very good this is one thing that scares me about having my own house <laughs> knife set don't trust myself whatsoever i wanted like the bluntest knives going because i'm just <laughs> i'm just a liability i won't lie this is a tower knife block i got this from tk maxx this was 29.99 which i don't know whether people would feel like that was expensive or not i wouldn't really know how much a knife set is except again my boyfriend has just bought his house and he got his for like much more much more expensive because they were proper like chef's knives um but yeah these are just the tower ones it's a really simple wooden block with a clear one on the end for the big choppy one i mean i should know what they're called but i don't i'm not a chef but yeah they're them I like them, they weren't too expensive, just stainless steel, they're gonna do the job, they're gonna last a long time, fingers crossed. Then I will do a, another chunk of stuff from B&M I think. So I got this chopping board from B&M, it was £6, it's really cute, I'm not sure whether I'll actually chop on here because this is just painted so I feel like it would scratch a lot, but serving would be nice for this, it just says say chop and serve and I feel like when I'm hosting stuff like this will be very very nice. I then got all of my oven trays from there as well and they were £1.50 and £2.50 each for smaller ones and big ones so I got two of each. Who knows if I'm going to need more, I probably will, it's just me. Um, so that's those. Super cheap, super cheerful, they do them everywhere but B&M was a vibe for me today. I also got these from B&M as well. I got all of like my kitchenware basically from B&M. I got a stainless steel peeler. They're all Russell Hobbs by the way. This was £2.50. We love it. Um, £2.49 for a tin opener. It's massive. I don't know whether that's, I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish but to me that feels like it's big. And then like a mini grater as well which was £2.50. Again, super affordable, we can't complain whatsoever. And then I also picked this up as well. It's just a little storage basket. I'm actually gonna use this in the bathroom, I think, um, with like amber glass bottles in or whatever, flannels. Just the vibe, you know, that's, that's what that is. But this was six pounds for that as well. And they do them in, I wanna say white or gray as well. So if you want different colors. There are those. And then I've got a couple more bits from TK Maxx. I got one of them ages ago. Like I'm talking like a couple of years ago when I was like first saving. <laughs> I know, I've waited a long time to actually use these. Um, but yeah, these were from TK Maxx as well. These were six pounds and they're basically just all your spatula, spoons, whatever, with white painted on the end, which is cute. And then very similar to the B&M little basket, I also got this dish rack from TK Maxx and this was 14 99 it's super nice I think it's one of those things that could really just look ugly in the house um so I wanted to get one that looked okay so it's got the draining board at the bottom obviously the rack and then it also has space for your cutlery as well in there and I just like it the backsplash in the kitchen is black so it's nice to have something to stand out a little bit against it so that's that it's not overly interesting but there we go and then the last thing I got for my kitchen is this, which is just basically a recycled <laughs> little bin. Um, it says Eco Range made from 100% recycled plastic and this was £5. Um, I'm basically using this for my food waste because it's only going to be little old me and if I put my food waste in a big bin it is going to stink. And then hopefully I'll get a compost bin for the garden as well. So we'll see how that goes but I thought that was really handy dandy. Again black will go with the kitchen. I know I said last things for the kitchen, I definitely lied. I do have some bits and bobs that are actually like appliances. So I got a kettle and toaster for both from Tesco and they were decent prices I think. They came to under £50, £40, something like that. Super, super simple, just white ones with a little bit of texture on it. I kind of like this. There's so many kettle and toasters that are like literally extortionate and I was like, I'm sorry, I am not paying that much for a kettle or a toaster. So we settled with these, but I think they're really nice and they're very similar to like the Breville ones and stuff. They're like 75 quid a pop, do you know what I mean? And then this is the toaster. It's only a two slice, but it's only me in the house, so it's okay. So that's the same thing again with the texture. Fabulous, fabulous, decent price. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna do some bedroom and living room bits now and it wouldn't be me. <laughs> without plants. I don't need any more plants. I really, really don't. I have too many already. As it is, my room that I'm in at the moment is 
a jungle but I've got to remember these are going to be spread around the entire house so this pot I already had from my local garden centre but then I picked up this Oh my god, it is gorgeous. The variegation on the leaves is really pretty. I'm not going to talk forever about it because I know not everyone is into plants. Um, but this is growing like crazy. And I think it's going to look really nice, especially when it starts trailing. This is from... I want to call it paint and plant? Paint and pot or something like that in Hull. But they have the best selection of plants ever. So that's that. And really, really nice pricing as well. I think they were like £12 um, for something like that. And then from the same shop, I got both of these, the plant and the planter. This is a Marble Queen Pothos, Pothos, however you want to say it. It's very pretty. Again, it's going to trail. Then I also got this woven basket to plant it in as well. It is actually stacked on some coasters at the moment because it's not quite big enough. I didn't even show you them. They're more for like living room kitchen as well. They're just marble coasters. They were a fiver from TK Maxx because TK Maxx is just the best. But there we go. They're plants that I don't need, but I will love and take care of that's my dog barking great it's still just absolute chaos then i popped to dunelm and i got these pillows so obviously for the bedroom these were 18 pounds and they're basically like full-on support pillows they've got like the rectangle at the side so they're really full i've got two of these that are going to be like the front pillows and then i also got some duck down ones for the ones behind that are already on my bed because i'm already using those so they're really really nice those are 18 pounds the duck feather ones were a little bit more expensive i want to say like 22 pounds each um again things that i feel like i'm going to use all the time i really don't mind spending a little bit more on because they need to be comfortable you know um and then also for the bed i'm just moving stuff everywhere i picked up a cushion insert the insert itself is from Dunelm same as the pillows this is 57 by 57 it's an awkward size so it's not obviously 50 by 50 or 60 by 60 but then i picked up this linen blend h&m cushion cover um which is 60 by 60 and i think it looks okay it's gonna be chopped kind of like that but these are really really nice and the price on the feather cushion inserts at Dunelm are like ridiculous i think they were eight quid um for this one and it is massive it's bigger than your kind of average size one which is great and then the last couple of bits are cute i got these again these were from tk maxx and they're basically just little glass frames i've put some pictures in this one already it is just one of these ones you've seen them everywhere i like them a lot i've just got pictures of me and my best friend sophia and her little sister there and they just have a little stand on the back and then when i went in another time i saw this one so it's just a little square version of it same exact thing same branding everything um i'm not sure what the price difference was this was 4.99 i want to say this was 5.99 so much not much difference in it but these are gorgeous i don't know where i'll put them yet but they will definitely be put somewhere with some pretty pictures or even more polaroids <laughs> please try not to smash it well done rachel and then <laughs> The final thing that I'm going to show you today, there are other bits but they're just going to be awkward to show, um, is this ugly vase. I got this from a charity shop. Shock. It was three quid. Um, it's purple. Not my vibe, not my colour. However, I am going to do a full on like Pinterest DIY um, <laughs> to make it look like a textured ceramic or stone vase you know the ones where they mix it with like baking powder but i think once this is a color that i prefer with some dried flowers in it maybe some fresh gypsophilia something like that or hopping on the trend of like bunny tails or something i think this will look really really sweet so if you want to see more diys when i move in and all those kind of things please do let me know because i probably will be up cycling furniture my camera died shock and the sun is rapidly going down so sorry if the lighting has been <sighs> crazy um life is chaos that just kind of sums it up i'm living out of <laughs> this tiny corner of one room at the moment so i'm feeling a little bit like a gremlin cooped up at the moment but it's all gonna be worth it but as i was saying if you do want to see diys and things like that please do let me know because no doubt i will be getting pieces to upcycle and diy and make my own just one to make it more affordable and two to be just a little bit more kind of environmentally conscious and reuse and rehome and give new life to older pieces because i think especially with furniture you can definitely do that of course there's going to be trend pieces and things that i think are important to buy new 
but there are definitely some things that I want to do on my own and revamp and recycle. So they are all the bits that I'm going to show you today. There are definitely other bits, but the camera's going to die and you will see them in vlogs and things like that as we go. I really do hope you will follow along this journey and watch as I make my first house a home. I'm very excited. I'm very scared, but I hope you'll come along for the ride. Do let me know if you have video requests or suggestions or anything like that for me to be doing during this time. But other than that, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!